Hey guys, it's Raf here with another video. So I decided to do a small upgrade to my cockpit, which was to add a kill switch uh, to my Fnatic Podium DD base. Uh, not really for the emergency button purposes, but uh, more the fact that you get an on-off switch uh, to also power on and off your base. Um, depending on some cockpit configurations, uh, for those who don't know, the Podium base, the on-off button is behind the base, so sometimes it's, you can have a, maybe a hard time reaching it by adding this uh, kill switch, you also get the functionality of turning on and off your base from that box. Now, I didn't go with the Fnatic branded one. I went uh, with a third party that I found, which also uh, gives you a better aesthetic look to my cockpit, uh, which is an extruded aluminum all black. I got such great customer experience from the company themselves too. And I decided to do a small little review about what the box looks like, uh, the connections in, and a little bit of the customer experience I received from them. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so let's get right into it. Uh, here's the kit that you get from uh, Penguin RC. You have your kill switch in here, you have two RJ45 cables that will go from the box to the back of your podium mule base. You have a mounting bracket, which is the one I chose, they have two different ones. And you have two screws which will mount this to the kill switch itself. So. Taking a look at the switch first, a very simple design, I absolutely love it. Uh, you have your emergency stop button on top, you have your power button at the bottom, so very easy to use. You push this down, that will basically do your preset, whether you want to turn off uh, or limit the torque on your base, and I'll show you the options in just a second, but you rotate that, it will pop back out, which means everything is functional. You push this in, you do your preset um configuration here on the box so uh, let's take a look on the other side as we were talking about is right here so you have your limit option you have your off option so i have it on limit so that if i need to push the button on the other side it will just limit the torque uh to the wheelbase versus having on off uh, having on off might be a little bit of an issue with some games where if you have this on off and you you go ahead and you hit the button on the other side it will cut the power to the base uh the computer does not recognize that the base is connected and once you rotate this on the other side to get back into your racing, some games don't like that. They will uh, make you quit and then launch the game again just so that you recognize the base as one of the controllers, devices in the game. So a uh, really, really cool option to have this on limit, which is fine with me. Um, and again, you have two mounting brackets for this guy right here. So very simple. You basically line these up. Uh, you can get at these light. There he goes. Almost like this. So use that and you get your two bolts. You just go ahead and plug these in here and you mount that to your rig. Now, uh, you do not get bolts to mount this to your uh, cockpit. So, which means you need to get two bolts for this part and some uh, T-nuts on the other side, which I'll show you what I have right over here on this side. So I have two T-nuts and these are M6, whoops, there we go. M6 size uh, bolts. Uh, and then I do have two bolts I found. Uh, my uh, toolbox that will do just fine. It'll just run right through this one and it will run through this one and I'll get it mounted. So it should look like this on the rig, which means let's time to get this mounted. So let's see how this whole thing will look like mounted on the rig and let's give it a test. All right, guys. So you can see here, I mounted the kill switch onto my extruded aluminum profile. And fairly easy to mount, I guess I mentioned, let's see if I get my finger up in here behind all these wires, but uh, yeah, use the, the bolt here on top and right there on the bottom, is able to just get exactly where I want it, which is on the vertical profile here for my rig. Uh, let's move the camera to the other side, see what I did with the wiring a little bit. Again, not the prettiest thing, but it does work. Uh, you can see a better view of the wirings coming uh, from here, but yeah, kind of, here's a couple of Vel Velcro straps right here just to kind of get things going and then ran the cables to the back of the podium uh, into their correct spots. So um, let's take a quick look here once we get this powered up. So move this up here on the way and we'll try to get this power button on here. And there we go. We got the wheel moving a little bit. Not too bad, working good, wheel is up and running. And as you can see, I have a custom uh, physical dash that's actually blocking the LCD that's in here, which I don't really use to be honest, I prefer having my dash. But uh, this way you can actually sort of see that there's lighting going on there. Let me go ahead and hit this button here to get the 
into its normally what you would see is the fanatic logo you can almost see how that's going and over here down on the switch itself let me turn this off for a second of this camera so you can see uh here we go yeah you can see the little red light this is the led i was talking about it's not here it's up here so that means that the the wheelbase is on and i push this and again on the mode that i have set um it would actually just uh basically cut the torque uh down to what you would have with the um, uh, the torque key, which is actually this piece right over here that I removed from the back and I put that one instead. So uh, again, if I rotate that and just pop it out back to the regular mode and you can see the screen goes white again. That means let you know that it's ready to roll. Clear that. And over here at the bottom again, this over here would actually completely cut the torque off. So I push once and you get an alert on the base again. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys because this is like more like a permanent mount solution, <laughs> but uh, get it out of the way as well. Torque mode, I push this again. Uh, it goes back into its uh, dark screen mode. And I'll move the wheel back in place here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, well, actually I'll do this for you guys. You can see, it should be shutting down. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this down. Now, apologies for the camera moving, but, and there we go. That's holding the power button down over here and it's good to go. So. Yeah, it works perfect. No problems at all. Again, the camera here is the <laughs> Velcro strap I use there to attach all these wirings to the back. But uh, yeah, it works absolutely great. So putting this back on to give you guys a better view one more time. There we go. Yeah, again, super awesome. And again, very flush again with the extruded aluminum on both sides and perfect placement for me here for me to turn on and off my rig. So that's pretty much it. Simple as that. All right, guys, so let's talk a little bit about customer service. Um, so I, uh, when I was researching these skill switches, um, you know, I found their website after some searching, read the groups and whatnot, uh, and I had a few questions uh, once I actually, I mean, it looked really nice, but I was like, is this compatible? A couple of questions I had, so I ended up shooting them in an email, and within 30 minutes, if not less, to be honest, I received a reply, answered all my questions, I had a few more questions after that as I started thinking about how it's going to be compatible to my uh, my cockpit. And um, yeah, I received a reply almost immediately every single time. So they were really paying attention to the customer's emails, uh, although it's a small company, but still me replying right away. That's a good sign. Uh, I went back and forth on that same night. Uh, I had to hold off on the purchase because I had to wait for something else to arrive to see if this was gonna be, it would fit on my rig on where I wanted to actually attach it. But yeah, eventually on a Friday morning, everything worked out, I placed the order. Long story short, Saturday, the box was already here. That's how quickly that was. So excellent customer service, not to mention the quality of the product you're getting. So absolutely recommend it. Let's get to our final thoughts, see what we think about it. All right guys, so final thoughts. I mean, as you'd expected, uh, yeah, this little box here from Penguin RC, uh, definitely recommend it if it's something that you're looking to do to your rig, adding a kill switch. Uh, I definitely recommend it over the Fnatic just because of the aesthetic aesthetics to it. Uh, it's not as bulky as the Fnatic version is, and um, it fits my rig perfectly. So talk about customer service and it's just flawless. I had no complaints. It was absolutely perfect from beginning to end. From questions in the beginning all the way to shipping to when I got to my house, the packing. Uh, how it was uh, wrapped in the box and everything. It was just absolutely great. Pretty much all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe. you see next time I post another video. I uh, hope to put some more videos out this year in 2022. But uh, that's all I got for you guys this time around. Take care, guys. Have a good one.